Every day, there are neighbors in Appalachia living without running water, heat, and protection from the elements. Children can't bathe regularly because there is no running water. Disabled friends cannot leave their homes because they don't have ramps making the outside world accessible. Elderly folk are in dangerous situations with broken floors and steps. Since 1985, Americans Helping Americans has partnered with local community organizations throughout Appalachia to address these needs, creating safer living conditions and homes that meet an acceptable standard of living. We do many different programs. We do programs that work with emergency food and with home repairs and with medical. And you work in virtually all of those programs too. So it's been a tremendous benefit to find your partnership and, and to allow you to work as we serve two uh, poverty-stricken counties right here in the Appalachian Mountains. We have to count and try to keep very accurate records of every single family that we serve, the people that we help. But we realize that every single one of those numbers represents a face, and every single one of those faces represents a family, and those families represent struggles that they go through. Just knowing that some of the folks that live in Appalachian Mountains, some of them without water, some of them without bathrooms, uh, some in, in what any American that lives in a community would say is substandard housing, whether it's seeing uh, the studs put in a wall that is going to build a bathroom, or whether it's even uh, giving some of those families a, a pair of eyeglasses for somebody that can't read their newspaper, read their mail, pay their bills because they can't see well enough we're making a difference in lives. You're making a difference in lives, and I want to thank you for that partnership. Meet Kathy from Hawkins County, Tennessee. Kathy and her husband, Tom, bought an old farmhouse with the intention of fixing it up and retiring there. But things took a turn for the worse. Hi, my name is Kathy. Uh, we moved here in July of 2011. We had come up um, in 2006, we bought a big camper and a bunch of tools and stuff up to restore the house. It was built in 1840, and our camper and all of our tools were $30,000 with the stuff was stolen. Due to their age and the fact that they don't have children, they were unable to qualify for assistance. I lost my job and my husband lost his. We got here, there was no doors, no windows, no plumbing, no electric, nothing. And so we had to start from scratch. And that's what we've been trying to do ever since. And since we have no kids and we're not elderly, we fall through the cracks everywhere we have turned. Thanks to your generous support, this couple now have a safe and comfortable home to thrive in. I do want to thank you supporters, and that, that's what we've been trying to say is, is without you, how could these people get by? Without you helping provide for their needs, we're just an agency that's here to help connect those needs, and we do know who are the right people, but, but without you it couldn't be done. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts and of